right, we're looking at Mika Galvao's armbar that he did against Hanado Canuto, or an armbar entry that I call the, the Choi bar. Um, so let's have a look at it. It's very quick. He's so good at armbars, Mika. He can see them from anywhere. So um, you'll see Canuto does a diving knee cut. So his knee starts to come across. He's reaching for an underhook and it kind of misses. And as he spins out, Canuto sees, okay, I see an opportunity for a cross face. Okay, his head's low, he sees a chance maybe. He's blocking this bottom leg. He can reach for, reach for the head, maybe get a cross face and try to pass. And Mika uses that opportunity to swing his leg over the top and lock into an armbar and get the finish. So let's break that down. All right, so Canuto goes for a, a good attempt at a diving knee cut. So he punches the underhook, the knee's cutting across, and Mika frames well, and they kind of spin out on, on this side. So we're in this position here where Canuto's got his hand on the ground, kind of blocking, blocking this shin, right? And he see, thinks, okay, well, if I just reach to the head, I've got a chance at a pass here, right? If you stick to this, you know, if, if Jacob does this and he sticks to me well, he might pass, right? So I think Canuto just like from the scramble saw that opportunity, but Mika's pretty quick and he saw an opportunity too. Okay, so he's going for the Choi Bar, which is basically just an armbar. Choi Bar is an armbar entry. I did a breakdown of Owen using this. I really like this move as well. I've got a, a course on the Choi Bar on my website. Um, but basically, we're trying to swing our leg over to attack the, the armbar here. Okay, so let's just have a look at some of the things that occurred here um, that made it a tight armbar. Because it can be loose as well. You know, if you don't do this well, it's going to be a very loose entry. Your opponent will see it coming and pull away. So what's Mika doing that's made this tight, right? So first thing, if you can, you need to stop your opponent being out of posture away. As soon as you grip this arm, they, should be they might be thinking, okay, the armbar's coming. So there's two ways we can prevent our opponent from pulling away from the, the arm lock, okay? If we can turn their arm like this, almost putting like Kimura pressure on the arm. If he tries to posture up here, see like the, that pressures your shoulder, right? Like it puts Kimura type pressure. So if they've turned their arm like this, this is usually when they're trying to like pass holding your leg, you can grip this and, and rotate their arm, okay? When they go cross face, it's a little harder to rotate it so much that they feel that Kimura pressure. But you can try to keep their shoulder, like their elbow up relative to their shoulder, something like this. So I'm pushing down down and forward at the, uh, at the armpit here, and I'm using my elbow to kind of flare up and open, okay? So if I can keep Jacob's weight forward of his knee line, it's hard, like it's hard to posture, right? So if you want to sit up well, see so he puts his uh, center of mass over his base of support. If you can pull his center of mass a little bit forward, okay, it's hard to posture up here, go for it. Right, because I'm kind of like pulling forward and chopping down and elevating the arm a little bit. So all of these are working together, make it difficult to posture. It needs to buy me enough time to swing my leg over. Okay. So let's look at one other thing now, we'll just turn around, which is helping me bring him forward. So I want some counter pressure as well with my leg extending. Okay, so I'm pushing my foot in this direction to move his hips backwards as my hands pull forwards. Okay, like this, right? Compare that to here, move backwards. He can kind of pull his weight back. But when my foot's stretching, it can help pull. I'm putting this counter pressure, stretching him like this. So when you swing your leg over, you're going to want to continue that same counter pressure. This is another mistake that a lot of people make. So if I'm thinking too much about just the armbar immediately, what I'll probably do is I try and turn my hips over to the back of the elbow. So I'll try and thread my foot really deep. But look, I. Can you see when I do that, I alleviate pressure and he's got an ability to posture, okay? So Jacob wants to posture up, right? He's trying to, at all times, he's gonna be, as soon as he senses the threat, he's gonna try and pull away. So if I try to keep posturing, if I try to go over, I'm gonna probably do this, okay? What I wanna do is, what my hands were doing, pulling forward, I wanna have my leg take over that rock. Okay, see, I've chopped his armpit forward. Not try and thread my foot through yet, okay? So I go armpit forward, then with that pressure on his armpit, I can start kicking my leg deeper and it keeps his posture broken. Okay, so he tries to pull away now and that's difficult, or he can't posture up really. 
Okay, so when we go over for the troy bar, we keep left foot pushing this way, right leg pushing in this direction, and we chop down. You can see how much tighter that is. I do eventually want my leg deep, but not immediately, okay? All right, the last thing to watch here, a lot of the time, and this is a really common defense, step over my head, and almost like you're trying to go to the other side, all right? Yeah, and possibly keep going. And like, look here, I lose the, the arm bar, okay? It's gonna be really hard to arm bar if this happens. But what might seem intuitive is to follow them as they step. So he goes over, and I try to, I try to like face him to get the armbar. That's good when he hasn't really put pressure on, but actually, if he puts a little bit of pressure on, you'll see that that's next, and, and try and pull your arm free, so go again. And I'm trying to follow. It's gonna be so loose, I'm gonna miss it, okay? So actually, I don't wanna follow him and face the roof. I wanna stay on my left side. We'll see me could do this. By staying on my left side, I've got some pressure with my legs to keep his shoulder low. Okay, if his shoulder stays low, keep your shoulder low. That's a, I'll keep your shoulder low, but walk around now. Go for it. You can still get arm butt here, right? I could still finish that. See, my, my legs are keeping his shoulder down. Sometimes you can even like sweep them over. Uh, Canuto didn't even get all the way to the other side. I think Canuto like, uh, go back. Canuto just stepped one leg. But it was already like pressured and on, but it's only gonna work if I focused on staying on my left side and keeping your shoulder low. Let's go back one step. If I allow your shoulder to lift and you step around, yeah, yeah, step. This is not, this is like really bad for me, right? Like I don't, you don't feel much. If I'm trying to armbar, really difficult. Okay, see that slight lift to the shoulder? So we have to, when we go back, when we sense they might come over, we keep their shoulder low, okay? Especially this leg doing a lot of the work. So in summary, canudo uh, has gone for the knee cut. Just spun around, he's seen an opportunity for the cross face, Mika's taken that, he's put his foot to the hip, swung his leg over, chopped, and had that counter pressure, right? And he threads through, Canuto goes to step, but Mika stays on his side and finishes here. So let's just break down what I was discussing. Okay, so we watch again, diving, look at that underhook, right? He's diving across with that knee cut and they spin out. And then here, the arm's in front of the leg, he reaches towards the head. Mika is going to look at, so first off, as he's swinging over, look at that counter pressure he's putting on the hip. The foot goes to the hip and it's pushing in this way. We'll go back one frame, you'll see he actually like actively seeks that. This is a really good thing to do. See that coming in? Okay, and he's stretching with it. And now the second thing I talked about, it's chopped at the armpit. See how he didn't try to thread the foot straight through to the far side immediately. He's chopped over and he's hooking tight. This, one other thing that does, it brings your hips towards their shoulder, which is what we need for a good armbar. Okay, so we're here, you watch him swing over and then watch him chop this foot. Instead of going deep here, he chops it back. There we go, okay. Now Canuto immediately tries to step over and watch Mika just stays on his left side, doesn't follow him, okay. Stays on his left side, extends the arm, and there's the tap. Okay, once more. Catches the arm, swings over, stretches, stays on his side, extends the arm, and gets the finish. So, Mika Galvao, he's like one of my favorite athletes to watch by far, so exciting. His arm bars are ridiculous. I do think he's got an instructional out on arm bars, so I think it's called arm bars from everywhere. I could be wrong, but uh, if so, check that out. It's on BJ Fanatics. If you want more content from me, I do have a Joy Bar course on my website, submeta.io.